It looks like Missouri is heading for a billion dollar showdown between Democratic Governor Jay Nixon and the Republican legislature. And as KMBC as Michael Mahoney reports, Missouri schools are right in the middle of it. Overall, the governor vetoed or withheld more than a billion dollars in state spending. One of the impacts may be no increase in funding for Missouri schools. Things like the Bright Futures program that several local districts use to try and lower the dropout rate, a math and science tutoring program, and a school safety project, all on the veto list. And other school money is frozen. Nixon said he did it because Republicans passed a budget including tax breaks that he says are stunning in their scope. Republican Ryan Silvey called the governor's move a joke. Um, there are going to be a number of issues that the legislature has to look at and say, no, governor, we think these are priorities and you need to make your cuts somewhere else. Kansas City Democrat Gail Beatty says she was surprised by some of Nixon's cuts, but she also blames Republican tax cuts. I hate that we have to pit our kids uh, against oftentimes big business and some of these tax cuts that we've presented. Nixon says some of this money could be released in September if the legislature sustains his vetoes when they come back into session. Michael Mahoney, KNBC 9 News. The budget fight has been going on all year. The governor and the Republican lawmakers cannot even agree on how much money the state actually brings in.